First of all, it doesn't look like you're on planet. It's unique. And, and different times of the day, it would look completely different as well. There's hundreds of thousands of shafts uncovered and open in Kubapiti. 80% of the world's uh, opal comes from Kubapiti. It's a love-hate relationship I have with opal mining. Yeah, well, my father came through without any family uh, in 1969 to go to Tanner Creek because he wanted to find work in the gold fields. He came back to Cooper Pedy and uh, began his opal mining career. Everyone has a different technique, and his technique is uh, to go down existing holes. Maybe they make a mistake, and he sees it because he reads the ground. He's got a nickname in town, uh, Desert Fox. I think that's because he's been in most of the holes, I'd say, good 99 percent of the holes in Cooper Pedy. Anyway, I've been, I've been mining with him since I was about 18 years old and we work well together, I mean like as well as any uh, father and son can work. <laughs> so it's, it's harder to find a good partner than it is to find opal. That's one of my father's sayings. What determines the value of an opal is basically colour. If an opal doesn't have colour, it's not valuable. There's white opal, crystal opal, grey opal, milky opal, black opal, uh, the black opal, their class is the most expensive, $8,000 a carat. Oh, it's addictive, all right? Yeah. It's just, it's unique to see it. And that's, that's part of the uh, addiction. You want to see that opal. It's unbelievable. I've seen opal in the wall many times. It's incredible. But finding opal is, is an awesome feeling. I guess like it's like some equivalent to someone winning the lotto. But they don't see the beauty before the money where we see the beauty. And we get all these emotions running in our head. But then we see the money as well, and that gives us, that's a, that's a bonus. Tomorrow's your day. Just gotta get out there, you know?